Hi, how's it going? Today's content is driver's license renewal. We'll talk about the requirements, the fees, and the process. The good thing is as of October 28, 2021, the driver's license validity in the Philippines is already 10 years. So that's a great thing, right? So let's try to delve in process. Okay, so what are the requirements? Anyway, this is a DIY or do-it-yourself. If you want to save money without using going through fixers and that's not a good thing, you must do it yourself. And this is what I did. So I renewed. Okay, so what will you do? First, you need to compile and prepare all the requirements. To begin with is your LTMS portal account that is your LTO account in the internet with, with which I will show you later on how to navigate that. Next is your driver's license, your card, okay? Not a photocopy of it but the original driver's license. Third is a medical certificate which will cost you around 500 pesos so there are 300 pesos but in our locality, it's 500 pesos. Fourth is the CDE Online Validation Certificate. This is the exam with which you must pass. And fifth is the application form. Okay, so we'll talk about that in detail. First is your LTMS portal account. This is what it looks like. So let's try to go there. For a minute okay so you just simply go to portal.lto.gov.ph and this is the uh, face that will appear if you do not have an account yet you simply click register and follow the instruction if you have an account you simply log in so I have here the saved account so sign in so that's how easy it is all right so welcome William jr. and then I have here transactions and all the details here okay so I will show you what to do okay next is let's go back for a while okay if you have that account already then let's have the online validation exam so this is how it looks like if you pass so i have your 92 percent i think that's uh, i have two mistakes during the exam but it is passed and it is considered okay all right so let's try to navigate where can i take the exam if you will go to other offices they it will cost you uh, much money even thousand but if you do this online it's absolutely free Okay, let's try to navigate. So we go here and then we try to look at here. You can see in the upper center the e learning. Simply click uh, CDE online validation exam. Okay, so I have here a passing grade. So simply you can start the exam and then it's composed of questions. Okay. Oh, I got a 20 out of 25 correct answer. Okay, so you can start exam, but I advise you to first review. Here's uh, the review manuals. Okay, you click here driver's course. After that, you can click here. You can either go through video for professional, of course that's good for 2.5 hours 2.5 hours a total of uh, five hours okay so but if you want to go in the manual you can also choose the manual in your case okay so you can have this one if you want a manual so you simply read uh, the road safety so on and so forth so for example let me show you this okay there Okay, so if you want to know the signs, I 
Advice, if you are a driver, please be honest to read the manual because it will help us. Okay? So that's the case. You can check that around an hour. Okay, or two hours maybe. Or if you are familiar with everything, then you can do it a little bit faster. Okay? So after you review those information, then you can take the CDE online exam okay so that's how easy it is okay now let's go back so you have that after that you will simply print the certificate download that print the certificate next is your medical certificate it must be accredited to LTO I think there are a lot of medical certificate center near your place okay in my case it's just near the LTO office so I took the medical uh, some informations like uh, this is the information okay so this is how it looks like but I have your information above of my uh, personal information and then you have this normal things okay and then if you have that it, they must be credited because the information here or the data here are uploaded in the LTMS account. Hence, if it's not accredited, they cannot upload your account. It will not register in the LTO office. You cannot have your medical anywhere. You can only have your medical in the accredited LTO office. So you need to ask the uh, center if they are accredited so that it will be uploaded in your account this cost me uh, 500 passes there are 300 passes in case and then of course the application form uh, it can be downloaded in the internet or you can go to the medical center they also have forms and in the LTO office they also have forms Okay, and then you need to fill out. I encourage you to ask in advance for the form so that when you go there in the office, everything is prepared. Okay? Okay. Now let's have the process. Uh, you can either have or you can either do it online first and then schedule an appointment or you can directly go to the nearest LTO office. In my case, since we only have brunch in Surgao City, then I need to go in the uh, on-site LTO office immediately. And if my if your papers is are already uh, prepared and completed, then it will not take a long time. In my case, it's only 30 minutes, and then I'm done. Okay, so first thing is you go to the nearest LTO office bringing all your requirements like the uh, your medical certificate your CDE online e certificate or online exam certificate and then your driver's license and then your form and of course your money so what are the steps first is the PACD this is where the uh, officer will check your paper if it's complete so if it's complete uh, then you can proceed to step two evaluator in this part your information will be uploaded in the LTMS account and they will validate it if it is true or not and then they will let you check it if it's correct and if you are already done with that then you need to uh, fill out the forms that you have passed the exams you need to go uh, I don't know in your place but you need to go somewhere to input your score and your uh, name okay and then after you are your papers are evaluated with its authenticity then you go to the cashier it's it only cost me 585 pesos without no with no hidden charges so 585 
plus one tau plus 500 for medical certificate it only cost me 1085 no more no less so that's the only money I spent and after you paid in the cashier you go to the fingerprinting uh, with your the biometrics okay so the fingerprinting and then of course a photograph of you if you want your uh, old photograph it would be as well and then you wait for the releasing of your card so that's how easy the process is uh, as per information the the it's 10 year validity but you need to have medical certificate in your fourth year and in your seventh year it can be seen in your uh, in your certificate okay but let's try to look at the online process so that you have an idea as well so we go to help you go back here so if you want to set an appointment simply click licensing then accept and then driver's license so in my case I'm done okay so in this part you will simply uh, upload your medical certificate here and you just click anything and then later on you can finish all those okay so that's how easy let me check this okay so completed so I have here the transaction already pending because we have no card yet in our place okay so I think that's it Thank you so much. If you have further questions, contact me on my Facebook, William Sadarana Jr. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you.